Hey folks, Joe here. So uh, if you saw my video from earlier today, uh, well, I'm back out for another ride out to the other little uh, kind of stealth shelter, bushcraft shelter place that I found a couple years ago. Give you a quick look. You may have seen this in a couple of videos in the past. Uh, I'm just holding the camera by hand right now. I brought the stick for extending it out, but I forgot to bring the clip to attach the GoPro to the cam to the to the uh, clip. You know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, just give me a quick walk around here if you haven't seen this already. Somebody built this here a couple of years ago. Pretty much, ex probably just over two years ago, I would say, since I found it. And uh, I believe a couple of locals must have done it. Probably live real close by. Did it as a little project for something to do during the uh, lockdowns that we all went through and just enjoyed so much. <laughs> no sarcasm there. But uh, yeah, so yesterday's ride, I didn't end up having a fire, hanging out, doing all that fun stuff. Today, I was just going to go out for a little short ride. I did bring the camera just in case I wanted to record anything. And on my way out, I decided to stop, get a beer and some uh, chicken strips. And uh, well, somebody brought a chair out here. That wasn't here before. That was actually in over here just a minute ago. I brought it out just before getting the camera going. There's a look at the fire pit. That's definitely been used a few times since I was last year. Then again, I hadn't been here since last fall. Lighting's a little darker in here, but I'll go a quick little walk around. This big, big odor room. Some firewood stacked up down there. I may bring some up to contribute to that myself one of these days. It used to be an indoor fire pit here. The ceiling is kind of open right over it so the smoke will go out nicely and then another little area in here well, it looks like a beer can a couple uh, utensils they keep it pretty tidy here there's rarely ever any garbage around and anytime there is it's always cleaned right up right away All right, I just had to check something on the camera so I turned it off for a second and right back on a little piece of paper garbage down there I'll either haul that home tonight or come back up here and have a fire in a couple of days when I have a little more time. But right now, I'm going to open up the pannier on the bike here. I don't know if you can see this. I got this. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. Brought out a can of beer for myself. A can of Molson Canadian. And I picked up a package of a uh, half a dozen chicken strips. So we're just going to sit down over there in that chair. Have a little snack. Oh yeah, and the mosquitoes aren't nearly as bad yesterday as they were. Uh, I mean, mosquitoes aren't nearly as bad today as they were yesterday. I did bring bug dope, but I don't think I'll even need it. Anyways, talk to you more soon. Yeah, brought the chair outside here. See, chair. Not lying. Beer in the beer holder. And we're gonna dig out some chicken. Have a little snack. No need for you to watch me eat. I'll be back later. Hey folks, well I'm holding this out as far as I can on my arm because like I say, I can't use the uh, extending selfie stick which I brought with me because I don't have the clip. I meant to mention earlier why I don't have the clip. Let me get myself out of focus, take a look at the bike. The ride I was on yesterday was with my Trek 520 Grando and the clip for holding the GoPro to various things is on the handlebar extender that's on the track. It's slightly different from this one. And that's where the clip is. I was interchanging it yesterday from the handlebar mount on the track to the selfie stick, so to speak. And today I decided to bring the mountain bike out for its first ride of the year. I've been riding just the track so far. And I totally forgot to bring the uh, extra GoPro stuff. I have a whole accessory kit of GoPro stuff at home, which I picked up over the winter. Most of it I still haven't used. So I got to get in the habit of bringing that stuff with me. I've got attachments where I could attach this right directly to the side of a tree. Uh, there's a helmet mount for it, all kinds of stuff. Chest mount. I got to start using that stuff a little bit more. Anyways, I had my lunch of chicken strips and I had my one can of beer. Uh, there's a couple more in the rear pannier there, which uh, I will probably get to enjoy later tonight while watching tonight's uh, playoff game. Uh, hockey. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. And uh, I cleaned up that one little piece of trash inside. That's in the bag that the chicken strips were in. 
along with the empty beer can, take that stuff home, get rid of it properly. Anyway, some mosquitoes are starting to come out a little bit more now. So we're going to book out of here, finish the ride. Today is Friday. It is early Friday after Friday evening. And uh, I think it's about 7 o'clock. So I'll have this video up sometime tomorrow, which is Saturday. Talk to you soon. All right, folks. Just took another stop. This is a little ways from where we were at. Little area I used to come to last year a little bit. It's a lot more uh, down trees and stuff right now. I used to be able to ride right through all this quite easily. These trees were upright. Ride right under here. And I'd started setting up a little area back here. Just beyond the few feet away, it gets very, very swampy. But I'm on a little bit of a high piece of land right here. I did a couple of videos right in here last year, hanging out, having a snack, having a beer. Brought my camp chair out here, my Eureka. And uh, I might do something here again this year too. This is one of the uh, three little spots that's very, very close to home right now. And kind of fun to hang out at some of them. Anyways, I just thought I'd pop in here for a couple minutes, get a little bit of video from this area as well before uh, continuing the ride home and getting ready to settle in and maybe watch the hockey game. Talk to you soon.